All right, you know we gotta blow up a big tower with this thing. Don't have the perfect shot, but this should be good. Am I going the right way? I'm trying to turn it back into it. Oh god, it's gonna light this whole freaking tower up now. Are we gonna hit the cube though? Oh my god, it turned the tower into a penis! What's going on guys? Dre here and welcome back to the best besiege creations. Today I got a little bit of a gambling addiction. Uh, we're checking out an actual working slot machine in besiege. Yes, you can even gamble your life away now in besiege. Isn't that fun? Now clearly I'm not very good at it because how many times have I rolled already and uh, I haven't gotten anything? Come on, I have to at least get some sort of win. But yes, this is a fully programmable slot machine in Besiege. And the cool thing about this is you actually stop each row. For example, if I didn't want to go left to right, I can go right to left if I wanted to. Maybe that's a little more lucky. Let's try that. Nope, that didn't work. Stop all of them at the same time. Well, finally we got something. I got a score of five uh, because I got the bell. Okay, well that's better than whatever the... Uh, I think that's just a rock. It's an actual rock. But yeah, that's better than the three. Now, thankfully, you don't actually have to spend money to do this, so we're just gonna, you know what, let's speed it up a bit. Let's try and get some sort of decent win, because I think there's bell sounds on this if you actually do hit a decent jackpot. Clearly, we're not very good at that, though. This is why you shouldn't gamble, guys. The house always wins. I'm at 33 spins, and I've won 23. I'm winning some bells again. It looks like you can win crossways as well. It's not just side by side. Uh, so yeah, I didn't know how many lines there were in this, but I need all the luck I can get. Seriously, I can't get anything past the damn bells. All right, I like that it counts the rolls. Let's see how much it takes till get it, till we get a decent one. I'm gonna speed roll here. I don't even know if it's accounting for the wins that I get. I mean, look, we're rolling at least one spin a second. I heard it. What the hell was that? I heard it. Did I actually? Oh, I, I zone conquered. Okay. <laughs> I thought I actually got a win, but no. I It's just like, just go away. You've gambled your life away now. You did 100 rolls, and you still haven't won crap. Clearly, I'm not very good at this. We got 39 credits and 107 spins. Jesus. I mean, I know the house always wins, but this is just ridiculous. Is it a helicopter? Is it a plane? No, it is a wind grinder intermeshing auto gyro. Man, that makes me sound nerdy. I like it. Okay, so yes, we got uh, whatever that means in, in a flying form. So yes, this thing this is so cool. All right, let's speed it up a bit because we're not going to make it over this mountain. My god, there's like every flying mechanism in this game now. By the way, I don't know if you saw when I sped it up, but it opens like air vents in the front engine compartment. Uh, pretty damn amazing. Oh man, it's actually quite nimble. Amazingly... Not hard to fly. I thought it would be, because usually helicopters are this game. But again, it's a plane helicopter thing. It's an intermeshing auto gyro. Oh, Jesus! Oh, God! The auto gyro stabilizer is gone! Oh, no! <laughs> I don't know what happened there. There's a way to do... Whoa, easy now, Tiger! <laughs> I was gonna say, there's a way to do a, a vertical takeoff. <laughs> wait, wait, it just, like, jumps! That's not even a really a vertical takeoff, but I love it! So yeah, you can just pull out your little plane wiener and uh, you're totally good to go, I guess. Oh god, we're gonna we're gonna stall. The plane wiener oh damn it, the plane wiener wasn't good enough, clearly. Okay, come on. We may have broken wings, but we can get off the ground. Speed up! Speed up, we can do it! We're losing all the parts. Okay, I have no turning anymore. This thing's fun. I mean, when a plane has a wiener, it's gonna be a good time. Alright, there's a button for fast takeoff. I'm cool with that. Let's try that out. Okay, that was much more stable than, than the plane wiener, but definitely not as fun. All right, plane wiener ain't so bad once you get used to it. It's just the whole the whole hop thing. Very, very confusing. Oh, God, I just stalled it. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, that's impressive, actually. I don't know how this is. Okay, flip it. Flip it. Dude, how did I do that for so long? That was fun. All right, well, with any flying plane, we need to try and land it as well. No idea how to land this thing. I think there's brakes. Uh, rotor spooling slash brake. That sounds like a brake. Let's try that out. Uh, is it spooling? Is it rotoring? Is it doing stuff? Oh, God, that, that's a wall. Okay, turn. Let's try that. Oh, God, yep, that definitely works something. Okay, nope, that... Stop! How do I stop the engine? This is dangerous, man. Is it a plane? Is it a helicopter? I don't know. I've already said that once today, but God damn it, we got two very weird plane <laughs> helicopter creations. This one... Actually looks really cool. It's got an auto gyro stabilizer. Look at this thing. 
I've never seen something designed like this. Of course, this one's got no explanation on controls, though. So, you basically just gotta fly it and hope for the best. I'm hoping I'm skilled enough to take this thing off. Um, now, let's just try this out. Okay, we got the engine power. That's good. Oh, God, this thing is wobbly, man. This is way smaller than the other aircraft. All right, we're off the ground. That That's success right there. I love the way this thing turns, though. It just kind of leans side to side, like an auto gyro. So that is really, whoa, Jesus, it can really pick up real quick too. It's a little bit wobbly in the air. You can see the top propeller sometimes likes to slow down and whatnot. That's not me doing anything. That's it kind of having a mind of its own. But amazingly, I mean, I can, I can fly it. It doesn't really control very well. I'm kind of battling it most of the time, but that was, but that makes a fun aircraft, man. Let's see if we can land this thing. All right, we're going down. Oh, yeah, slowing down the engines. There we go, or engine, I should say. Dude, that went way better than the other one, and I didn't even have controls for this one. Obviously, this one's a little bit more simple, though. It, do it doesn't have a plane penis, so that's kind of important. But, yeah, two helicopter plane things in one episode. Talk about lucky, right? Oh, God, Jesus Christ. Okay, we're going in for a crash. It's, it's actually quite stable as well, as you can see. Well, I mean, some did fall off, but still, didn't go into a million pieces, at least. Well, uh, this just got weird. This just got really, really weird. Oh, God, Jesus Christ. What have we become, guys? Like, seriously. It, it, it's got, like, bouncy... I don't... I, what? No, we're, we're just gonna move on. Never mind. Oh, my God. What the f*** is Steve made of? Oh, God! Steve! Steve! All right, I was gonna show off some uh, Minecraft creations with Steve. Let me just quickly show you... What happens to poor Stevie boy when he, of course, loads in? Give him a second. He's obviously a lot of squares, as you can probably tell. But yeah, good old Stevie boy here doesn't s <laughs> seem to work too well in Minecraft. Or sorry, Besiege. We're, we're, we're not playing Minecraft, but a lot of you people have been asking me to play Minecraft. So this is probably as close as you're going to get to that. Good old Steve, his head wobbling on the ground. What the hell? <laughs> Now, we do actually have some impressive creations, though. We got the pig, as well as, of course, the exploding creeper here. So, uh, yeah, kind of controlling both at the same time. It's supposed to be an exploding creeper. Not really sure how to explode it. Let's just press some buttons until things happen. That's generally how Besiege goes, right? Come on. Oh, no, that's definitely the wrong button. <laughs> so, evidently, the pig is much faster than the poor creeper here, though. I mean, look at the speed difference here. Seriously, do I have to, like, shoot you to blow you up? I'm wondering if there's, like, a bomb in his head. Let's look and see. Oh, yeah. I, I, I see the bombs. How do I explode said bombs? Okay. I'm still trying to figure out how to explode this guy. Is it end? Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. We took down the tower, too. Okay. That, that's a creeper bit right there. All right. So I found the button. It's end. I mean, that's actually a pretty good button to choose, if I'm honest. So let's actually try this because I want to see the actual explosion in slow motion. I mean, everybody likes bacon, right? That's just kind of how life works. So we're going to make some bacon right now, and it's going to be delish. All right, goodbye, guys. Oh, God. Oh, I can't even. The poor pig. <laughs> and there goes his head. Ah, oh, man, I love creepers. It didn't do the old sound, though. You need that sound, or it's not a true creeper. Well, we also got another Minecraft creation, so this week it's all about Minecraft, clearly. This is the Wither. I guess it's a boss in Minecraft. I don't know. I thought there was just creepers, if I'm honest. So, uh, yeah, this is news to me. But yes, this guy supposed to be able to shoot his heads or something like that. So let's see if we can actually do that. Uh, we can actually aim and lock. Oh my god, he can turn his heads and actually lock on to things. Okay, well, I'm kind of aiming exactly where I want to shoot. Okay, shoot the first head. Oh my god! That was a direct hit. Alright, second head, go for the shot. It's not working. Why? Did I break it? Seriously, why is the other head not... Oh! Did it shoot both the first time? Oh, it did! Okay, so it's a double shot. Uh, I didn't realize that. And I thought it was actually gonna shoot the heads, but no, there's actually just cannons inside. Well, let's put this thing on infinite ammo and do some real fun here. Can I shoot myself? And Let's actually... Whoa! No, he's actually remarkably stable. Now, you can actually go up and down with this thing, too. Let's try and actually aim this thing up again. And there goes your house. Now your face! All right, I, 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 all right, I, I need to relax a bit. This is actually really fun, though, because these are some very powerful cannons. 
All right, that's pretty much it for this one. It does a lot of damage, though. Can I... Br I'm trying to break them. Come on, just... There we go. I finally broke them. Look at that. Yay! Oh, there goes the other one, too. All right, all joking aside, look at this beautiful beast. What a beautiful tank. This thing is awesome. Not only that, it goes what's said to be 150 kilometers an hour. It is a speed beast, so because of that, we're going to tighten up these tracks as much as we can and test this thing out. Now, with something as fast as this, it actually has three speed modes, uh, so we're going to try the first one first. So this should be speed one. Now, we got to uh, slow down the game as well. We're going at less than half speed, so even at this speed mode, as you can see, it is quite fast. Now, is it able to turn, though? I want to see how rigid this thing is. With such a speed-focused tank, obviously it should be able to take a few bumps quite well. Now we're going to go into the second speed mode. I just engaged it now slightly faster, as you can see. Definitely not 150 kilometers an hour, though. Uh, I'm worried we might even not even get grip on this map if we try and go even faster than this. Let's try those hills again. This time we'll go at the fastest mode. So we're going to, oh god, turn around here. Even, even slowing down almost flips this damn thing. Remarkably, I think you guys know the track record of uh, tank tracks surviving hills is quite low in this game. The fact that it survived that is pretty impressive. All right, we're going to tighten those tracks again just in case. And now we're going to engage overdrive. Look at the spin! Oh my god, it can't even get grip. Man, if this thing had grip pads on it, on it, I feel like it'd be doing way better. But no problem at all. Wow, this is a seriously impressive tank. I want to see if we can get some air here. That was close to air. It's, got, it's really back heavy, as you can see, but still, I think we got a little bit of air there. Not too shabby for an old tank, I gotta say. This thing has some serious speed. All right, brake test. That's when you rip tracks, just to show I'm not in invincibility. This thing is damn impressive. Now, with any impressive tank, it needs a tank penis. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so immature. I'm sorry, guys, but yes, we actually have a weapon on the top. Now, this was made by a Chinese creator, and unfortunately, for some reason, additions to mods sometimes don't work when they're written in Chinese. I don't know why. Maybe it just happens to me, but unfortunately... Uh, I pressed the wrong button there. Let me get that back up. Unfortunately, this has an auto-targeting system that just doesn't work. Now, we're going to engage auto-targeting and hope it works for some reason right now. It's engaged. No, it indeed is not. Thankfully, you can switch the system to automatic mode and you can actually control it yourself. So now I'm at control. I don't know how to actually lower the uh, gun, though. Oh, wow, this is hard to control. It's, it doesn't stop very quickly. It's obviously meant to be an auto-targeting device, not meant to be used this way. How do we lower it? Okay, there we go. We can actually lower it. That's as low as we can go. Okay, we're, we're, we're at the max. That's why. Well, let's see if we can at least shoot one of these guys. BAM! 10 points. Go us. Unfortunately, though, the auto-targeting is not working. Whoa. Whoa, what the hell? What the hell's going on here? Okay. Uh... I don't like that this thing moves. Well, thanks for that. I appreciate it. I'm just gonna go this way anyways. But yeah, even without the auto-targeting, I mean, we got a super fast tank here. Unfortunately, the game can't even handle the speed of this thing. You can see how fast we we're going, though. Let's put it back at 100% just to appreciate the sheer speed of this thing. I mean, it is flying! I thought we'd go to a hilly map to see if we can actually get some air here. Uh, I don't think we have access to this whole map, unfortunately, like the giant hills, but... We should be able to go over here a little bit and see if we can actually get some crazy air with this thing. Because that's what this is all about. I wish it wasn't so heavy, man. Ooh, we actually broke it. Oh, God, the map abruptly ends there. That's weird. All right, let's just see if we can climb a giant hill. I don't know if there's going to be an invisible box over here or not. But I want to see how good the grip is, man. This, we're going up a pretty damn steep hill for Besiege. This is very, very steep. Not many creations can do stuff like this. And yeah, we're already starting to lose traction. There goes our first track. Oh, we were so close! I mean, technically, we kind of made it over, but we're one track short. So yeah, it's always nice to see a tank that really isn't focused on destruction, more focused on simple fun. Uh, we need more speedy tanks in Besiege, because goddamn, they are fun to drive around. And we got a literal devourer of worlds here. This is good old Starro. I feel like it should have a more threatening name. I feel like if I heard Starro was coming to town or something, I'd be like, oh, big deal. And then you see this thing and you're like, holy crap, this is the most horrifying thing I've ever seen. It might actually be the most horrifying thing I've ever seen in Besiege. Also, we have a knight flying right now because we need to have this in zero Gs. I mean, with something this big, I'm not surprised. So yes, this is basically 
uh, a starfish UFO. That's what I'm going to call it. Now, you got to play it remarkably slow. We're actually moving right now. Don't blink or anything. Uh, but yeah, if you actually look at the ground here when we do use our little laser thing, that's not horrifying. That's just constant bombs, by the way. We are moving. So I'm going to try and move over to these guys. Oh, it kind of flaps in the wind, too. That's adorable. Why am I saying it's adorable? It's horrifying. Uh, but we actually have another shot here I want to actually try. And that's the triple beam. Oh, we're going in. Now, this takes a while to charge, so we might actually get it here. Um, wait for it. Wait for it. What's falling? Oh, th I think those are just blocks. Bam! There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Now, it doesn't look like a big destruction from up here, but this thing is freaking huge. Uh, also, what happened to my limb? Well, that's all right. We'll just grow an another one anyways. All right, you know we got to blow up a big tower with this thing. Don't have the perfect shot, but this should be good. Am I going the right way? I'm trying to turn it back into it. Oh, God, it's going to light this whole freaking tower up now. Are we going to hit the cube, though? Oh, my God, it turned the tower into a penis! Okay, well, that was freaking amazing. And look at that. It's sucking up everything because zero Gs. Uh, wow, this is so cool, man. Very rarely these days I'm impressed by a creation that's focused on destruction, but goddamn, Starro is a true devourer. Look at this is amazing. I just love the particles going up into it. Ah, oh, God, I love it. All right, guys, and on that, I think we're going to wrap up another episode of the best besieged creations here. I thought we'd uh, have a nice relaxing ending with quite possibly the biggest freaking Ferris wheel I've ever seen in my damn life. Uh, this is a 32 carriage Ferris wheel, 120 meters in diameter. Absolutely crazy. Now, it says to, uh, press button Z, so let's press that. Oh, okay, so it can kill people too. That's just great. Uh, I don't think we're gonna go all the way around this thing. There's no freaking way. It's just so big. But yeah, I thought you guys would enjoy this as well. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up for this one, guys. As always, if you do want to download any of the creations that you saw in this episode, link will be in the description. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know what you guys think. Obviously, I know you guys love Besiege, and it's been a while since we last did it. But I only want to do Besiege when there's truly a lot of cool creations that I want to showcase. Uh, so we'll probably have another episode coming out sooner or later. I have not fully quit Besiege like some of you are thinking. I'm just dropping down the amount of episodes to the point where I think they're much more quality and uh, much more entertaining to watch. But yeah, still love the game. Absolutely amazing. And there's still an awesome creative community here doing some amazing stuff. And yeah, we'll definitely be checking out in the future as well. But yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching and liking. And I'll see you in the next one.